start recording. It's intermission time. Hello. Intermission time. Intermission time. So, I am a paladin with four wins at this moment. Yep, I'm gonna go get some pizza. We'll be back. You can tell me exactly what to do. I'm gonna get rid of Guardian of the Kings and, uh... I'm actually okay with keeping the rest. Yeah, I agree. I'll step in for him. Hey, Crumb, how's it going? Not too bad. So we're taking over a newbie stream. I know. I was watching said stream. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is probably flame coin out flame juggler. Yep. Because even if it doesn't hit that thing, then it still trades pretty well. It still oh. punches it adequately, and yeah, that could happen. Looks pretty good. How long ago did you make this deck? Um, a couple months. So I just, it has all the new stuff, or not all the new stuff? It has the uh, new stuff. I trade that in, and I put out uh, Shield Minibot, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Chrome. I'm still loading in, I agree though. That sounds like a good plan for turn two. We got the tempo game going. I think he might have a blast next turn, depending on what they play. Bless and Sun Fury or Bless and Dude? Uh... Oh. Why wouldn't they just use the tap? Okay. I don't particularly care. In this case, probably Imp Master. Yep. Oh, they just threw away all their gas. Yeah, they have two cards now. See, I don't even have any of the really dumb cards in here. I do have a legendary, though. That's a snapshot. It is a snapshot. Uh, I think the Heckler is a pretty good call here. Yeah. It protects your Imp Master so they can still Imp. Okay, so Imp Master, I mean Heckler there. And then Imp Master hits face. Sounds good. Do I throw Adventure Co next turn? Well, probably, but you should see what you get first. Yeah. If you get a nice four drop, dropping a blessing or wisdom on something might not be a bad thing. No, I don't think anything's very long lived here. I think Venture Co is a good blessing target because if they silence it, they're silencing the downside. Mm hmm. And if they kill it, they give you the ability to do stuff. Mm -hmm. Or they could just, you know, surrender, hopefully. <laughs> well, yeah, because. Basically, what I have on board uh, can take down that snap jaw. My dream is that the next seven games are all just surrenders. You go straight to 12 and 0. That'd be good, yeah. Oh. That was a mistake. Eh, not necessarily. No, they wanted the uh, Avis. All right. Eh. Okay, I think yep. you play the Ventrico and the auto. I kill the 3 2. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. I apologize, Chad. I'm very ill and will frequently forget how to speak properly. It's okay, I never speak properly. Ah, get behind me. Ooh. Uh, that would have been good. Blessing of Wisdom Loot Hoarder? I think you blessing first and, and trade in. Oh, good call. Blessing there. Trade in there and see what we can get. I'll be good yeah, on that. I, I guess loot order uh, would be the correct one, uh, right? I'm back and a dog has followed me. Hi, dog. So loot if order. I have to mute suddenly, it's because she doesn't want to be with me anymore and I have to let her out. Okay. This is actually really good because if uh, the rogue makes the dagger to take care of your 7-1 uh, and the snap draw hits your 2-1, you can just bomb lob away that uh, thing, hopefully. Yep. 
Plus it always hurts to dagger yourself for seven damage as a rogue. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they're running out of options. They only have two cards. Looks like that's what she's doing. That's a good card, too. Well, oh, hey. that was dumb. So, yeah, now you can bomb lobber. Bomb lobber? Eh. Either, actually, that's probably for the best because now uh, they can't just do a free trade to the bomb lobber. So, I'm thinking I actually throw out the Sun Fury here. Uh, I, yeah. I would actually hear our power. Because yep. Sun Fury, they just. Uh, Bump the 2-4 off of the 3-3 three, three and then dagger. Fair enough. This way is a little bit harder to clean up, and at least gives you flexibility to dark iron something next turn. Yep. When they just uh, have the Sun Fury Protector as a dark iron target? Well, yeah, but then there's a 2-1. Yeah, they got to clear on something. Yeah. Alright, so dark iron and pile of treader, it looks like. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just overvalue taunt givers, but I think that getting a value out of your cards is probably the way you're gonna just grind this out. Yep. Ooh. Your magic shall not save me. Ah, uh, it's not so bad. You've got a. I got seal champions. champions. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd seal the pile of the treader, so then you can run the dark iron into the three two. Yeah. And then, uh, what do you think, uh, Sun Fury? Uh, I think you sun. I think you play. I think you make a Silverhand recruit actually, and Sun Fury the seven three in the Silverhand. All right. Because that way it's very difficult for them to dagger your four one, and they're gonna run the the four three into the seven three almost no matter what you do. Yeah. Well, they still are top decking now. I guess you could have played Zombie Chow with that with that one one, but for some reason that feels wrong. Yep. Yeah, when you're top decking, getting in. Uh... All right. Um... So, Guardian of the Kings and Pit Fighter have the same stats, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think you get Guardian of Kings out because it's more expensive than yeah. your power. So I just heal myself? Mm -hmm. yeah. and then you bump the Divine Shield off the 1-1 one, one with the 2-3. Yeah. And make a dude and maybe also zombie? For duty. Uh, I don't know. I see need to zombie at this point. And I'm just going to... Well, if I hit face, that's still fine, right? Yeah. Yes. I would hit face. You need to force uh, the target to use the 1-1 one, one on your 4-1. Yep, we'll see how this goes. Hearthstone lessons, everyone. Isn't this fun? Potential. Yeah, I think you have won this one. They're going to have to have a very good top deck here. Alright, so I take out that thing. Yep. Then throw down I Pit, say fighter, Pit Fighter, Chillwind, and Zombie Chow. I actually don't think you throw down Zombie Joe, so you represent Lethal next turn. Alright. Sounds good. Because if they can, to like, I don't know, backstab and hit Zombie Joe. Yeah, they get more. It wouldn't have. Oh, uh, maybe it would have been alive. It would have been by one. You're right. That's game. There's very little they can do. Unless you decide to clear. And you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see what your well next played. card was. 
Good job. Look at that. I don't know. Keep it going. Yeah, let's keep going. We're gonna give newbie enough of a break. All right, newbie. I newbie's think asleep. asleep in his chair. Okay, newbie's dog. You are now running this stream. No, it sounds good. Also, I'm looking around. Where the hell did I put my phone? <laughs> oh, never mind. It's right there. It's the timer. God. Like, I'm not tired right now, but my mind is fried. It's great. It's a weird feeling. Ooh, you have Dark Bane. I do. Should I throw away Dark Iron and Venture Co? Or keep uh -huh. Dark Iron? Just wait for it, too. No, you definitely throw away Dark Iron and Venture Co. I'm considering throwing away Dark Bane, honestly. All right. Like... Yeah, you need to get a one or two drop pretty badly. Yeah, I don't even know how many spells you have that would target her. I have two. Yeah, definitely throw it back. Or I, <laughs> I want to know which other two cards you could. Oh wow. This seems Bl fine. Blessing of Wisdom is one of them. I think you just redemption and then mini bot. Yeah. Yeah. Job done. Well met. When you return to life with one health, does that mean the shield and mini bot gets the shield? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. That is dumb. Yes. Oof, that's a good combo for her, though. It is. You still get to deal with it, though. Yes. You get to... This is actually good, because they'll probably try to ping up the shield and... Yeah, I, well, that's the the best play, probably, is ping the yeah. shield. If there becomes a 3-3, three, three, you knock it down to a 3-1, redemption kicks in, and then you kill it next turn with the Blessing of Wisdom's up. Yeah. yeah, you can cycle Blessing of Wisdom and get a Silver Hand recruit out. Depending on if you... Well, you might draw a good 3-drop, who knows. And it's not like they can play around that because your other alternative is, you know, just trading into the 3-2 for free. Ta-da! Hooray! Okay. Uh, Still Blessing of Wisdom uh, in trade, or...? Imp you think Ma Master's pretty Ma good? Yeah, Imp Master's pretty darn good. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I'd still take care of that 3-1, though. I was going to. Yeah, because All if right. they kill your 2-1, oh no, they wasted 2 mana really on it, and I don't think that's a good trade on their part. Yeah, 2 mana out of 3. Okay. Okay. Let's get to Shredder and run this game out of control. Yeah, I was worried about that. Um, maybe you actually play the Heckler here, then. Yeah. Because it takes some serious effort to run... Uh... Two. And then I just punch face. Yep. I'm thinking the worst that can happen is they frostbolt the heckler and ping it, or just fireball it, and then you still get to trade with the fairy dragon and have something up. Counter heckle. So maybe I should. Uh, I'd say Silverhand Knight. Wait, uh, before anything, why not, uh. Well, because I can blessing of wisdom uh, say the uh, imp master. Actually, no. Chrome is right. Getting silver hand out early before flame strike turns is better. Okay, silver I hand just... out, and then just trade everything in, right? Yeah, I think you still kill the mana worm with your imps. Yeah, yeah, I think that's well worth it. Nitpick though, play silver hand knight on the left side. Fair enough. Oh, because of kind of cold. Well, you just... Cone of Cold is one thing, yeah, but you also generally want to practice positioning where you have your weaker things in the middle. So if you ever get uh, like Dire Wolf or Flame Tongue Totem, you can kind of collapse outward. That trades pretty well into this, right? Uh, okay, so I'm thinking maybe Blessing plus Venture Co. I, th I think you actually um, trade into the Worgen with the 1-1 one, one and the 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. But first, blessing the four four and hit face, and then venture co probably yeah. Unless you get something really good. I'm having trouble imagining anything better than venture co. How about that? Mm, no. no. Yeah, it's better to save that because you can All take right, out a so big we'll target. So venture co after this. <laughs> because like now, unless they damage the venture co immediately. I guess a frostbolt would be bad, but uh, otherwise it survives flame strike. It's 
bunch of dudes. Yeah, that is. Okay, what should I do? I think I... Uh... What if you just, like, go face and make them trade? Yeah, I... I... That could go really poorly if they have Flame Strike. Oh yeah, super poorly. But it's still 13 damage to, or 11 damage to them. 13 mm. if I throw it to a lance carrier. Well, I feel like the fact that they're committing that much to a board kind of says no flame strike. Okay. If I seal of champions though, the, then flame strike would still wipe your board out no matter how you do it. Yes, but would, they would have to trade you don't their wanna, entire If you're just going to go to the face, I just put out the piloted shredder. Yeah. But before right. you do anything, hit with the 4-4, four because four, you have the thing. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now put out the piloted shredder. Yeah. Sounds good. So they have flame strike. This is an unrecoverable. And if they don't, this is you winning pretty much. Well, pulling it out. Hovering it. Fall deer. I mean, that's good. Uh... They really should have cleared that shredder first. Yep. Okay, yeah, what's got? How they're scared. Because it could be a doomsayer. You need something with three health or three to attack damage, and you'll be so sad. Or, oh, that was dumb. Yeah. Or uh, actually, okay, so like. Definitely do that, yeah. I kind of agree with them doing that. So Seal of Champions into the Kvaldir? Yeah. Well, I, after they made the mistake of not trading first, I kind of respect not popping the Shredder because it can be really scary. Alright, and... Uh, like I'd put Mech Warper out. Yeah? Yeah, or... Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. If you get something with two attack and they can't clear a taunt, you just win. Or heal. Oh. Well, that sucks. Nice hit. Hello. <laughs> well. Uh, what the heck is that? That is the tiny negative of evil. When you discard a card, it gains plus one, plus one. Mm. Uh, flame juggler, and then see if I can get to some value out of the mech warper? Uh, I actually don't think so. I think you just trade with the tiny knight and uh, rock jaw hero power. All right. Save those battle cries and don't let them heal. Yeah, <laughs> zombie chow, you're on the bench. Because now is a good time to start playing around flame strike because it's they're gonna have trouble coming back either way. Any yeah, other flame way. strike ping is gonna wipe your board. Yeah, but then they just, you know, oh. use flame strike ping. Oh, oh, they don't have a yeah. dragon. Oh wow. All right. Oh wait. I say you dark iron your mech warper and kill that five four. Uh, yep, uh, definitely. Because I don't think you can kill. You're, you're very close short. to killing. You're, you're two one way. short of flame juggling. Oh yes. Yeah. But it's best not to risk that. But I, have I think you just hear carrier power. as well. Like, don't throw out lance carrier. No, just hero power. So oh, hold on, let, let me, let me, uh... Yeah, okay, you're threatening lethal with what you got on the board if you hit, but... Yeah, you should be okay. Okay. And you don't want to, uh, possibly get the idea of, yeah. Then it might have been holding a, uh, mind control tech. Yep. Thankfully, the one good thing about Having way too many cards in arena is that mind control tech is way less common. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Still pops up though. It does. Keep her going. Keep her going? Keep her going. Alright. Yeah, I have no late game actually in this deck. <laughs> That's fine because you can win the game in the early game. Well, it's been going to you 10 You got a man. pretty lethal mid game. Uh huh. That uh, that Venture Co has been doing some work. Yeah. Ooh, a hunter. 
Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Hello, Coghammer. <laughs> All right, I'm. Uh, mm. I would get what? rid of the blessing and the piloted shredder. I'm not even sure you get rid of the piloted shredder here. It's like. You got a little bit more flexibility with the coin. You definitely get rid of the blessing. So blessing, it master keep. You definitely keep the hammer too. All right. I don't let's... know. I think I get rid of blessing and piloted, but I could see keeping the pilot too. So I, I could see getting rid of blessed and it as long as you get rid of blessed and keep the cog hammer. All right, I'm getting rid of it master then. Let's go. That was weird. Oh, eh, I'll take it. I think you just uh, well met. turn two spiders on turn three. You've got a lot of flexibility. Really hoping she just shoots you in. Yeah, spider. <laughs> spider! Speed a man. Come on, clear the one two with your two one. Come on, go face and wolf rider. Or just shoot with the thing. There's I'd be okay with shoot with the thing. Do here, honestly. Uh, they can play Misha actually. That's pretty. Yeah, Misha would be bad. I don't think they have Misha though. Hmm, I wonder. That's that's so bad for them. Questionable. This is a, this is a good cog hammer turn, eh? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think this is such a good cog. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, kill the hyena first. It doesn't matter. It's not a beast. Still kill a hyena first. <laughs> Send a message. There's there Misha. we go. No, that it's Leon. Sorry, what was that, newbie? Is it to my side? I think you just play one of your four drops because uh, they're going to clear the one two, and then with one of your one ones, you can use the lance carrier on it and play with the harvest golem next turn. All right, um, Yeti. I like the Yeti. Sure. Nice having a four five. Don't use the cog hammer, but just hit face with the spider. Sounds good. Do you have any other weapons besides that cog hammer? No. This is a bad Still deck. Still a good weapon. I don't have any true silvers. I think you being 6-0 and does not say that this deck is bad. <laughs> I have a legendary. Which you ditched. Well. Oh, hey, look at that. Hi, Misha. How's it going? I think you have to trade the Yeti. No. Mm -hmm. It matters on if uh, Leoc there kills the one, too. Yeah. And he should. I think uh, the next turn is uh, Lance Carrier plus Harvest Golem. Yep. Or that can happen. I think you still Lance Carrier, so you can take out Misha with your weapon and yeah. Spider. So, okay, Lance Carrier onto the Spider. Mm-hmm. Take out Misha. Yeah, the only thing that's really terrible is if they have Unleash, but this is too good not to do. Unleash, uh, Unleash doesn't really kill you anyway. And then, uh, just get out the Imp Master? No, that. Harvest I, is I, probably I'd, better. I'd say the Harvest. Yeah, Harvest or the Pilot Shutter, something sticky. Ooh, what the most point? Unleash would do right now. It matters well, if they have, like, uh, Timber Wolf or something. Yeah, yeah, that's really the sign of that there. Or do they have Timberwolf and then they just clear your board? Uh, just unleashing three Timberwolves. <laughs> yep, that's, hey, well, that's pretty that bad. that happens, two Timberwolves, they can't fit all three in. Eventually they can. Well, they could kill one and then, yeah, you're right. 
Or they can play Timberwolves first and then Unleashed. That seems ill advised. Yeah. Answer the call of the lights. Ooh. Hello? That's a dude. Uh, I think you trade your Yeti and a Spider in. Yeah. I, I like Pilot Treader to pop on an opponent's turn. Because then you can react to it and they can't. Exactly. Also, if you get Doomsayer on your own turn, they just kind of laugh at you. Yeah. Well, they can't play anything, but yeah. Um, uh, I think I'd start Hero Powering, get put out the Rockjaw drug. Yeah, I like Rockjaw. He's a cool dude. Yeah, you put in the right Who isn't afraid of nothing? He doesn't afraid of anything. Doesn't? Oh, God. My grammar's too good. <laughs> You're tired and your grammar improved. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. Look at this smart ass. You, you okay, buddy? I've been writing for a while, and it happens. <laughs> I'm sad you weren't in Drawful Crumb. If I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Mission solved. See, my, my best drawing was the first one, and I went downhill. I like the, you see a picture and you make funny names up first. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right. Good. So I'm Good, thinking... there's a glitch on my screen. I, I yeah, think... me too. I this think is everything good... but the shredder. Oh no. No, 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 I think this is a good turn to trade your shredder in, because you can clear off most of your board if you absolutely need Literally, to. Before you kill the thing. That's okay. not terrible. There's a Blessing of Wisdom on one of the guys hitting... No, put Blessing of Wisdom on your Trog and have it hit face. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. That's not a bad one. Okay, so... The 1-1s one and the 6-2s. The mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I'd say Bone Guard Guy Pass? Maybe it's just some Venture Co. if they're not going to play anything real and Fair point. smashing. Yeah, you need some more oomph on the field. I like the oomph. I mean, that gives you 14 damage right now. If they cast any spells, it gets worse. But, by the way, Krum, I, I was originally going to do uh, the Record Keeper bonus battles today during the, the, the marathon, mm -hmm. and then, like, around 4 o'clock, I was like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, like, together. I don't think I could even make a team. I think you, like, clear that with your two one powers and yeah. that silver hand knight. Yeah. Normally sounds... it's like your face, but you might as well hedge against Unleash. It's not like one power to do anything. Wrong side, <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Roxy. I'll now that go. So it kind of matters in this case for explosive yeah. shot. It does matter for explosive shot. That's correct. Um, if they can't deal with this, though, you got lethal setup. Oh, you're one away. Uh, I still think you hit face. Yeah, you might as well just hit face and like spawn a bunch of guys. Uh, bone guard. Yeah, hit face. I have to say, it master and a dude. Well, bone guard will do more damage. Well, well yeah, if you I hit with your two him. guys there, you have nine damage dealt to him, so he's down to three. So you only need one with your hammer. I think you do big golem for that then, because golem tends to be the stick. Oh, fair point. Golem okay, and so a dude. Golem. Dude, I put the goal in the wrong place, whatever. And, uh. <laughs> Punch face. Whatever the goal is in the wrong place. All is dust. If this I'm guy glad he got feel mysterious... you're in a bad spot. I'm glad he got Mysterious Challenger and not, uh, the one that doubles attack. Might honestly oh. have been wrong to not clear that because. They could easily have 10 damage first, 8 damage first, really. Well, if it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, maybe. The Kraken is in the, the Beast, but I guess they're going to have one in their hand. And then, like, if they have yeah. kill command. Uh, yeah. God damn it, this deck. How do you keep winning? 
I want to see this deck get to the end, and technically you still have six minutes in the half hour break. Come to think One of more. it, uh, you could have traded the Ventrico in and still set up lethal. That was my mistake. Kama, what are you at? Huh, hello? Hello. I'm still here. Alright. I asked Kama a question and then the, the static cut out. At Kama's either dead? Kama? Where are you? Kama. Uh, who wants to tap? I stepped ball? away. <laughs> Pardon? Who wants to tap and brawl? Sorry about that, I got a call right when that happened. And I ended up winning oh. the game. Hooray. That's sweet. <laughs> Newbie said do one more. Uh, do you want me to do one more? Yes. Alright, let's do one I more. I want to see the end of this deck. Uh, the deck has not lost yet. That's a while. Nice. Okay. Do one more. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? 6-0? 7-0. -oh. -oh. Nice. You've at least what? made a good chunk of change. I've paid for another arena. And gotten a free deck out of it. That's right. And I just completed a, uh... Yeah, I just completed a quest, so I got 50 more. I had and to win 50 as not the mage. Anything but the mage. You asked for it. Oh, wow. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. You uh, I don't. I'm just going to keep this, okay? Maybe one of the fours? Uh, no, because you coin into one four and then play the other one. No, no, that's true. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, just keep it. Yeah, sure. I'm keeping it. Really good start. You're taking <laughs> advice from somebody who's been up for 30 hours. You've been up it for more than 30 hours. For your first four turns, that's oh wow, wow. Okay, sure. I don't Wait, now I, now I need to do math. 24 from 8 to 8, and then 10, 12. Oh god, it's 31 now. <laughs> Hello. I still think you play the shield in Minibot. I do, yes. Because hero power lets them trade with that free. If you play it 3 4, then you can target it next turn. And they That's can't fair. Trade. Oh, she's a 3 4. I thought she was a 3 3. Yeah, let's throw her out there then. And do I hit face anyway, even though Zombie Chow heals her? Yeah. Yeah. If they have a frost bolt, then it's unfortunate. Maybe we should just concede turn one. Maybe if they have a frostbolt, fine. They're, they'd still have to trade that in. That's true. Overplay it. I think they're just staring at it going, crap. Uh. He's got to have 20 buffs in his head. Oh! That. Wow. Well done. That's still fine, though. That's, that's fine by me. Yeah, uh, that's shielded a by. good card. That's a damn good card. Shielded? Yeah. I keep punching face with zombie. Hey, one more turn and zombie chat will out damage its ceiling. It's always good. Or you could, uh. Do I seal champions the zombie chow? I don't know if you do actually. No, I wouldn't. If you just hit with both and then respond appropriately. Alright, so just take. Like, trade both of them and then figure yep. out what. Okay. Yeah. Plus, this takes away their ability to ping off your divine shields, which is always a good. Ooh, boy. Um, Heckler. Evil Heckler, hello. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait. If you Evil Heckler, they can just trade it in and ping. You play Rock Judge Hog, they have no good trades. You'll take right. six damage, potentially, but. Yeah, it's, who cares? It's just damage. Damage ain't matter to you, dead. Okay, and now you can, uh... Seal the champions, the truck. Yeah, I like that. And make All a right. dude. Mm -hmm. Yep, you seal champions, trog. <laughs> I was thinking... I wasn't going to save seal champions for something, but no, I just dead. You were going to use on 3-4, remember? But... Yeah, I know, and she oh. died. That was a very good play that they did, though. Yes, uh, that kind of saved their game. Uh, Still trade in, maybe. Uh... I don't know that you do. 
think you just play Heckler and let them trade in off a flame strike if they want. Heckler like the, and Dude? Yeah, reinforce Heckler. Or Dude and then Heckler. No. Yeah. You do that Is first, it so it's in the middle. Yeah, okay. Probably doesn't matter for this game, but good hack it's get in. Like it's Kona Cold. Kona Cold is actually bad. Hold fine card, you take that back. Okay. They're winning this one. Yep. Yeah. I was looking like mentally through your deck list going, this is not good for you. <laughs> you should definitely remember that they have Kodo or Hider, because those things can get real scary real fast. Uh you should also definitely get rid of that aspirin. Mm-hmm. Alright, so just trade into the aspirin there? Yeah. Sounds good. And then. I don't I think, know, Silverhand? I think you Silverhand Loot Order, because that cycles Loot Order, baits out a Flame Strike if they have it, and if they trade the 2 3 off the Loot Order, your Flame Juggler has a chance of hitting in next turn. Or yeah. the Squire. So Loot Order on the right, and then uh, Silverhand on the left? Loot Order on the left, then Silverhand on the left. It's true. You want to split up the uh, silver hand and the early. Mm -hmm. They can still kill the blue quarter and then do it, but you who cares? I think that burly did his job. Yes. I think we've verified that I'm having. Oh! Uh, you definitely flame juggler here. Yes. I like that one. Hopefully it hits. Mm -hmm. Dang. All right, that's, that, just, that's actually really bad. You just loot order into the shield first. Yep. Then Dark Iron trade both in. Yep. Dark Iron on the left. On the left? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would have been so good if it had hit the shield. Would have been. And dude. Mm hmm. Because remember, reinforcements always spawn to the right. So as you add up more and more, you want to be able to split your stronger cards up. Next turn looks like a piloted chill and Yeti for me. To me. Dude, you imagine if a Yeti was in a piloted shredder? They'd be fucked up. <laughs> uh, be they can be in the uh, Sky Golems. Pilot, yeah, the pilot Sky Golems. You know, it's no, I just meant like a, a, a shredder piloted by a Yeti, not like, oh, it's a great... No, like actually that, that's a card. Oh, okay. It's like an 8 cost. What's great is when a Sky Golem is piloted by a Shredder, which is piloted by a Spider, which is piloted by two smaller Spiders. So, 1-1 one, one into the face to see if that pops something? Uh, that's a good idea, yeah. Or should I do the 2-3 into the face? Uh, and then 1-1 one, one and Coghammer that thing. I actually like that in case it's vaporized. So 1-1 one, one into face? 2-3 into face. 2-3 into face, okay. Excuse me. Nope. Okay, that's probably duplicate, which means I'll still you're take that. I have to take it out. Yeah. Uh, you play, play your mirrored, uh, mirrored entity. I mean, hit the heal bot first to test. Yeah. Guys, this is important. Ten more hours. All right, just uh, hero power. <laughs> Seems like mirror entity. No reason to give them gas. <laughs> Hopefully you get something weak here. Be a good video. And this, uh... Mind if I roll need? Perfect. Mind if I roll need? <laughs> good God, I can't, I can't form words. This would be a good match to end this video on. I would play the Bone Guard right now. Bone Guard? Mm -hmm. I like it. Yep. yep. Now you can just yeah. hit their Bone Guard. Yeah, Flame Juggler into their Bone Guard. No, 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 no. Face. Oh. Face into their Bone Guard. Face into their Bone Guard. You've got a big healing card you're about to play. Because it resists Flame Strike. So and I play uh, Yeti? Or... Uh, the Guardian of Kings. All the Gonk. way to the right. Good job. And then the 2 3 into the 2 1 and the 1 1 and the 2 1. Mm hmm. I agree. And then the 4 4 punches face. Yep. Alright, so 1 1 there. 
Unfortunately, they get cards out of this, which sucks, but yeah. you've got pretty good control of the board right now. Slightly. It's good to have two four drops in your hand, because it lets you recover from a flame strike. Oh, uh, what is that card back from? Always you gotta be thinking of flame strike. Oh, that stinks. It Hello. does, but... No, real talk, what is that card back from that the mage is using? I don't know. That is... is that the Samsung one? No, it's not. No, 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 that's the Frost card back from... I want to say the season before GVG. Season mm -hmm. 5. Yep, they called that one right. Uh, I think you harvest golem hero power pass. I don't know, I put out the shredder myself, but... It's still a ping and then... They're, they're delaying for something and I don't want to walk into a flame strike. I think they weren't necessarily delaying, they are just playing something that really cleared your board. Nah, this could be duplicate, so... Uh, probably blessing your golem first and hit their face. Yep. Oh. Cool. Perfect. Now you can, uh, clear their 2-1 with your face and... Yep. Just, uh, if oh, you, wow. Yeah, if you want to be aggressive, you can, uh... Play everything? I don't think that's a good idea, though. I think you just, like, play a 4 in hero power. I'd say Mech Warper and Treasure myself. Uh, and, because you can do that and also a dude. That plays into mind control tech, though, and they've been holding that card a while. Okay, so yeah. I will, uh, Chill Wind, maybe? I think Shredder, because it is stickier. And a dude. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's what they're holding. It's a good card. It is. Well, you can make two recruits. <laughs> I can. Uh, you attack with the golem first into their face. I think you do make two recruits here. Alright. One. Reporting for duty. Which puts them down to a 9 4. And Spider and Yeti, I think. Uh, actually, I'd. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I don't know if I'd Spider. Why not? Because they could kill the Spider and then it would only spawn one buddy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's true, but they'd have to run their 9 7 into it. Fair. Alright, Yeti Spider. Okay, so Yeti on the uh, right and Spider on the right, too? Uh, Yeti on the left, Spider on the right. All right, and then face face. face, face. face. Yeah, okay. I want to say because every the silver hand recruits came onto the board first, they die first, and so the the death rattle from the haunted creeper triggers after they die. I could be wrong though. It could be death rattles happen then guards are removed. It appears to be irrelevant. Okay. That that was good for me, wasn't it? Yeah. I think you can clear the board here. Well, I'll probably take out their uh, take out their pilot shredder first. Uh, yeah. I, I think would use the mech or your uh, harvest golem to do it. Yeah, yeah, good call. So, you so harvest part. golem, yeah, harvest golem into shredder. That's three cards you've got now. Ooh, good card. It is a good card. And one. Then the one one into there. <laughs> now your your other one one and your two three into the kraken. All right. And then the one two into the one one. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you too much. I seriously would swamp the board. Why? That's that was incorrect. That was incorrect. I'm an idiot. All right. Well, why don't we? Throw I'd say the, pit fighter. Oh, pit fighter, and then I can sun fury both the spectral spiders. I'd pit fighter. Well, yeah. Put down the pit fighter, and then mech warper, and then sun fury protector is my call. You're in trouble. I really do think you need to swamp the board at this point. Just go for win. Yeah. I'm doing this. I would get it off in time. Hero power. If they have, if they get flame strike, they get flame strike, and that happens. But yeah. I think damage at this point is the most important thing. Well, that worked out well for you. They could have done that first. Yep. They could have. All Kill right. it with your five six. Yeah. Start grinding away. And, and then. then the press, other two? Press the button. Don't I put everything out? No. Press the button. Which button are you talking about? End turn? No, no, no. The, the recruit button. Okay. <laughs> There's more than one button in this game. Just end oh. turn now? Uh, no, no, no. You can play out everything, I think. Alright. Well, I've got to put them in the wrong place. So when you're late in the game, you want to be spending as much mana as possible and pushing the button as much as possible to get right. as many numbers out as you can. There we go. Putting everything everywhere. Flame Strike makes this game interesting. Becomes top deck, top deck wars. Flame Strike makes this game boring. They're not playing like they're expecting to draw a Flame Strike. I think either you won or you're very, very close. You're, Ooh. And you're two off. Mm-hmm. I mean, bomb, bomb lob, clear it, yeah, and clear it, and then hit everyone else to face. Like use your two one ones to that thing. Uh -huh. Two? Oh, right. <laughs> Yay! All right. Oh. Well, th this deck is way too, uh, way too good. How? Arena. You are eight no. I'm eight no. Yes, I got a gold card. Or something. I got a gold card. All right. I'm tagging right. out. Get back to your own stream, newbie. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Are you are you rested and refreshed? <laughs> I'm refreshed. Hey newbie, 